Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the series where I talk about how to get free books for any device, your phone, tablet or Kindle. In my previous videos, I talk about how to download free books for any format, transfer them to your devices. And if you are only able to find specific formats, I even talk about how to convert them so that your device can accept it. If you haven't seen that, I would recommend that you watch that and then come back to this video. But in this video, I want to talk about how to get the book cover that did not come with the downloaded file. Depending on the file that you downloaded, it might not come with a book cover. Sometimes it comes with a book cover that you can see on your laptop, but when you transfer it to a Kindle, it does not show up there. This first tip is for the books that come with a cover but do not show up on your Kindle when you transfer it. The only way to make sure you always get cover art is to use an application called Calibre Management. Once it is downloaded, it will look like this. Transfer the files in this area. If you have one file, just right click and select edit metadata. Click edit metadata individually and then clear all the tags for the first four menus right here. This seems to be doing the trick. If you have multiple books, select all the books first, right click and click edit metadata individually again. Just this time, when you are done clearing the tags, don't click OK. There will be a next button right here. Do the same thing again for the next book. Clear all the tags and then when you reach the last book in your selection, the next button will be grayed out and that's when you click OK. Once that is done, have your Kindle connected to your computer. Select all the files you want, right click, send to device, send to main memory. That's how it will pop up in your Kindle. This is all well and good if the downloaded file came with a book cover. But there might be times where the book cover does not come with that file. There are ways around that too. Let me show you an example. I have already downloaded the file Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You can see how weird the cover art is. I'd rather have one of the original covers. In such a case, right click on the file, go to edit metadata and click on download metadata and covers. Click on download only covers. You will see that one job is loading here. Once it's done, a box pops up like this. Click on review download metadata. The one on the left is the new one. The one on the right is the original one. Just click OK. Now just right click on the file, click on send to device and send to main memory. Once you see the green mark here, that means the file is transferred. When I first started doing these steps, I have done the exact same steps and transferred the files to my Kindle and it still did not show up. So I had to turn airplane mode on and restart the device and then it worked. So to avoid that, just keep airplane mode on all the time. Now outside of transferring the files, there are other reasons to keep the airplane mode on. It saves a ton of battery. There are other ways of saving battery as well. I think it's an important topic to talk about because I've seen many reviews where people are complaining about the battery life of your Kindle. People have been complaining about charging their device every day when it should be lasting weeks between charges. To see how to save battery on your Kindle device, watch the video that just popped on your screen right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.